in this video we are going to discuss about types of database systems or database management systems we can classify databases mainly into four types the first one is hierarchical database management system second one is network database management system third one is relational database management system or can also be called as RDBMS. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. And the last one is NoSQL Database Management System. Here NO stands for not only, not only SQL Database Management System. First let us see about Hierarchical DBMS. Hierarchical DBMS follows tree structure. It is just like a tree structure. We know what is a tree. Tree is a collection of nodes. Let this is the first node. Let this is first node. Next second node. Let this is third node. Next let, let this is uh, next node. Next node, next node. Here trees are mainly useful in order to represent hierarchical information. Hierarchical information means level by level information. Let this is level 0. Let this is level 1. Next level is level 2. Likewise. So level 0 means grandparent level. Level 1 means parent level. Level 2 means its children level. Okay. Grandparent, parent, children level. Likewise. Okay. So here the first node is always called as root node. So root node is A, the children of A are B and C, so B and C parent is A, whereas the children of B are D, E, F, whereas the children of C is G, H. Here in the first node, in node A, record 1 will be stored, in node B, record 2 will be stored, next to record 3 will be stored, record 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, likewise all the records will be stored in the corresponding nodes. So it forms mainly the parent-child relationship. So here all the records are stored by forming parent-child relationships. Here parent A children are B and C. Next to parent B, B children are D, E, F. So likewise, okay. So this is about a hierarchical database. Hierarchical database mainly establishes one to many relationship. One to many relationship. So what is one to many relationship? One node can have many number of children. Okay. So here node A has two children. Node B has three children. Likewise. So this is about a hierarchical database. It stores the information level by level with the help of some tree structure. Now let us see about the second one. The second type of database is network database. Network database is an extension to the hierarchical database. Network database mainly forms graph structure. It mainly follows graph structure. We know what is a graph. Graph means a collection of nodes which are connected by some edges with the help of some arcs. Let me have a graph like this. Let the first node is A. Next B and uh, C. Next let, let we have uh, here we have let we have D. So likewise we can have uh, n number of nodes. So here graph means a collection of nodes. Here A, B, C, D are nothing but the nodes. And all the nodes are connected with the help of edges through arcs. Here the relationships are established with the help of the arc. So this arc demonstrate a relation between an edge between A and B. This arc means it, it, demo, it establishes an edge between A to C. Here it mainly forms many to many relationship. It mainly forms many to many relationship. So many to many relationship means one node can have many number of parent nodes and many number of children nodes. Okay. If you take D here. So here D parents are B and C. 
Likewise, D can have uh, any number of children, E, F, G. So, here D parents are B and C, D children are E, F, G. So, we can say that uh, this network structure follows many to many relationship. Why? Because a node can have many number of parents and many number of children. Okay. Here also the data is stored in the nodes. So, node A contains record, node B stores record, node C stores record, node D stores record. Here all the nodes stores some records. So, this is about uh, network databases. Now, let us see the third one. The third type of database is relational database or DBMS, relational database management system. Nowadays, we are using more frequently this database, relational DBMS. So, nowadays we are using RDBMS, relational database management system. Here, it stores the information in the form of tables. RDBMS means the information will be stored in the tables. A database is a collection of tables. We know what is a table. Table is a collection of rows and columns. Where rows means tuples. Rows are called as tuples. Whereas columns are nothing but attributes. Columns are nothing but attributes. If you take a table. So, table means a collection of rows and columns. Okay. Here this is here a tuple is nothing but row. So, this is one tuple. This is another tuple. This is the third tuple. Whereas columns are nothing but attributes. Okay. So, this is one attribute. This is one attribute. Let this is rule number. So, rule number is one attribute. Next, let this field name is name. So, name is another attribute. So, likewise, here we can establish the relationship between two tables with the help of a common field. With the help of a common field, common attribute, we can establish relationship between the two tables. Let we have two tables such as, uh, uh, let we have employee table, let we have uh, some student table. So, let we have student table and some staff table. Let the, uh, let the fields of the student are rule number, name, department. Whereas, let the fields of the staff are staff ID, staff ID, name, department. So, here what is the common field between these two tables? Department is the common field. So, by using department field, we can establish the relationship between these two tables. Okay. The most commonly used relational databases are Oracle. Oracle is the most commonly used database. Next one, Microsoft. Microsoft SQL Server. Microsoft SQL Server. So, next database is MySQL. Next one is DB2. So, these four are the most commonly used relational databases. So, out of all these databases, currently we are using RDBMS nowadays very, very frequently. Now, let us see the last database that is NoSQL database. NoSQL stands for not only SQL. Here, we can store the information in the database with the help of key value pair. With the help of key value pair, the information is stored in the database as well as the information will be retrieved. Uh, let uh, the key is 1. So, in key 1, we can store the details of employee 1. Okay. Let employee 1 details are employee number some Ramesh, employee number some 100, employee name some Ramesh, salary some 10,000. Let the second key value is 2. So, 2 it has some value. Uh, that value is nothing but second employee details. So, with the help of key value pair, we can store information in the database as well as by using key value pair only, we can retrieve the information from the database or some the corresponding SQL, S, corresponding database server. Okay. So, this is about uh, types of uh, database management systems.